also joining me now, Ronnie Richter. He's attorney for the Smith family and Josh Carroll, Stephen Smith's cousin. So, Ronnie, if I may start with you, I was listening to an interview that you did, and, and I, don't, I don't know when you did it, but you said someone in Hampton County knows what happened to Stephen. Is that person Buster? Yeah, I don't know if that person is Buster or not. As far as we know today, we know of no credible evidence to tie Buster to the crime. But you got to you got to appreciate where Hampton County, South Carolina is. It's a very small, very tight knit community. It is impossible that a crime like this was committed, and that word of of this crime did not spread within the community. I think. We've had an environment where it was not safe for folks to come forward in Hampton County. That environment is now extinguished. We're told by SLED that they are making headway in this investigation. They have persons of interest. So, yes, we do believe that there are people in Hampton County who know what happened. Josh, I want to bring you into the conversation. First and foremost, I, I want to be sensitive. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's, it's awful. How is your family doing today? Uh, and the reaction to really the, a bombshell today. Hopeful. Um, we're, we, we've we've gotten to that point to where we've we've decided to just let God take course and let Him handle it, and just kind of wait for truth. Um, speculation kind of got to the point to where that's all it is. So I mean, at this point, it's we're glad to see progress go where it's at. Um, it's slow, but progress is progress. It's more than we've seen. So I feel like it's a step in the right direction. Um, and it's, it's now a safer environment for us to get answers sooner rather than later. When you talk about wanting the truth, do you feel like the Murdochs are a piece of that puzzle? Josh, um, that's for you. Yeah, um, it, it's, it's, again, it's just one of those things to where, you know, people, people want to speculate and kind of assume, but at the end of the day, I think it kind of boils down to just really wanting what the facts are and not just wanting what we want to be true to be true, if that makes sense. So... Okay, and I want to bring it back to you, Ronnie. What are the facts? What's the status of the investigation? What do we know? Well, what's the latest? Yeah, well, well, the facts are that this was a cold case for a very long time. And in the context of the murder right. investigation for Alex Murdoch, some investigator came onto some thread that caused them to reopen the Stephen Smith investigation. So I think that's where you're seeing this Murdoch link, and that's where people are asking these questions. Why, in the context of investigating Alex Murdoch for murder, are we reopening a cold case on the death of Stephen Smith? So the facts are today that we've had his body exhumed. We've had a second autopsy done. We know more about the cause of death than we knew before. And, and we know that SLED has now invested their full resources into this investigation. They had walked away from this. And it's not a criticism. It's just a fact. But we know that they're fully uh, involved in this investigation now. We know that they're applying resources to it. And we're told that they're very, very close. Now, we've been asked by SLED to withhold information about that second autopsy for now. And we're honoring that request because we do see good faith, sincere effort on their behalf to get to the bottom of this crime. All right, Josh, I'm going to ask you just one last question because I know um, your family obviously misses your cousin. You do talk to your aunt. You know, what What does she think? Um, as far as what she thinks, I think that's, that's, you know, more of, you know, her heart and where she is mentally with the situation. I will say that I feel like she's getting to a place now to where she's she's – comfortable and confident that she knows one day she'll get peace to a point where she'll get answers and be able to rest back knowing what happened to Stephen. Well, we're so grateful that you both joined us and, of course, um, very sensitive to what happened to your family. Ronnie Richter, Josh Carroll, uh, thank you so much amid all the news that happened in court today. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.